please tell us about your current job what does it entail you know there might be someone who's a bsc graduate or they're still studying but they are not really sure when you say clinical research that they don't really understand can you just tell us what do you do like on a daily basis what does your job it take and also another thing that i want to know does it do i need to do this job do i need to be in the bsc life sciences umbrella or i can get it maybe with other qualifications can you clarify that so in order to make this um, the most informative session, I'm going to build a scenario. <laughs> Have you ever thought, Guti, Yongeleniti okay. is all the medication that we consume, all the medication that is prescribed to us in the hospital, all the medication that is prescribed to us, it clicks at Discam, at all these pharmacies, all these places that you can possibly get medicine. Before it gets there, where is it coming from? Who's testing this medication? Where are they testing it? Who's participating in this mm -hmm. testing? Give me the process. So now you have to ask yourself these questions. You know, you have the scientist, the scientist who's, who has the molecular structure of this particular drug that they want to discover, right? Or, or that they have discovered, mm -hmm. right? And then this scientist mm -hmm. is affiliated to what we call pharmaceutical companies, right? Mm -hmm. So this scientist is okay. affiliated to the pharmaceutical company. They design what we call a protocol, which is a, just a scientific mm -hmm. methodology to say, we have a drug, we just want to see how it works. We just want to see if it's going to heal people. It's going to work. It's going to do what we think it's going to do. Then now this drug okay. is firstly tested on animals, Firstly, tested on on mm -hmm. on a small after animals. It's tested on a small group of people, healthy people, volunteers. Mm -hmm. After that, it's taken to other phases of the trial as well until it gets to the clinical trial phase. So, by the time okay. that that drug gets to the clinical trial phase, then that's when the mm -hmm. whole clinical trial industry starts. So now. We have okay. clinical trial sites. So clinical trial sites is where our doctors mm -hmm. are sitting. So where do you find that? Bara right. is Baraguana the hospital is a hospital. That's where our doctors mm -hmm. are sitting. Charlotte Maglake is a hospital. That's where our doctors are sitting. So those are mm -hmm. our clinical trial sites. But those are very, very um, big examples, right? So now mm -hmm. you have this drug, you have this pharmaceutical company, you have this drug. They mm -hmm. want to test it on people in the hospital. Who do they approach? Okay. They approach the doctor. The doctor is the one that has the patient, mm -hmm. right? So now the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. company cannot just approach the doctor and say, here's a drug, give it to this person, see if it works or not. Right. Mm -hmm. So now we need a okay. whole group of people who are an industry that will help make sure that if this drug does get to the people, it gets to the right people. It gets the, the mm -hmm. right way. The doctors are trained to do the right thing. They are trained to put the right patients in that study or whatever mm -hmm. um, we are trying to investigate about this drug. And who are those people? Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people. I'm a clinical research oh, associate okay. and clinical research associate is basically a person who is falling in between the pharmaceutical company and the doctor at site. So uh, my job okay. is to make sure I take all this instruction from the pharmaceutical company and then I train the people at site, the doctors, how to do the study. Okay. And then my job is also to ensure that the patient is safe, that the doctor is not mm. compromising the patient's safety, that the doctor is following mm. the guidelines, that the doctor is following all the regulations and ethics guidelines and instructions, mm. and make sure that okay. the trial runs smoothly. So that is what I do. Okay. Mina, I want to know, if I want to participate in a study, do I get paid? 
So you don't get paid don't get to paid. participate in the study. So you get you get like what what we call remuner. You get compensated for your travel. That's what they call it. That's how Sapra mm-hmm. wants us to call it. You get compensated for okay. your traveling, your inconvenience, your time, all of that. So they do give you transport money to to be part of the study, mm-hmm. but it, it's not a payment to be in the study. That that would be a wrong way oh, to put okay. it. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it just depends yeah. how much is my transport. It just depends how much is my transport. Okay, no, uh, no, 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 no. It doesn't <laughs> depend how much. It doesn't depend on how much your transport is. It depends on how much Sapra can approve that you get. So if Sapra says the budget, Bonnie is gonna get hundred rands for the study. You getting hundred rands. <laughs> okay. Also, you must you, now, must you must remember, Uguti Sapra is a regulation and it is a, a regulatory authority. So they don't want uh, institutions like the pharmaceutical companies to persuade people into being in the studies just because they get a big buck. So that's why Sapra okay. is just like, no, 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 give them this much. This is what we approve. Yeah, mm-hmm. they don't want it to be. <laughs> commercial or monetized okay yeah yes <laughs> and then let's talk about the degree now uh can I, okay first of all do i need honors or i can pursue this with my undergrad you can definitely pursue my career with an undergrad but i never discourage okay. people wanting wanting to study further you never discourage that because you should remember bonnie would see mm-hmm. Um, in every industry, there's competition. In every industry, there's always someone a- ahead of you. So if you can get mm-hmm. your honors degree, get it. If you can get your master's degree, get it. But with your BSc degree, you can still apply. You can get the training. You can get the opportunity. Okay. And all degrees under the life sciences, they can apply. So it doesn't mean human physiology and genetics. Yes, that is correct. This includes BSc in microbiology, pharmacology, mm-hmm. all of it qualifies. Funny enough, some people come from a very, very different background. We do have medical mm-hmm. doctors that decide to be clinical research associates. It's also possible. We, we do see that sometimes. Sometimes we do see nurses. There's quite a very big number of nurses who pursue, mm. uh, who decide to pursue a career as clinical research associates and they just run with it. So I do have a friend mm. who studied uh, ele- uh, chemical engineering, but now he's a clinical okay. research associate. So opportunities okay. are endless and um, you can just take whatever you have and work with it. Mm. Okay, guys, yeah. that, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> um yeah guys please don't forget to like and share this video and leave any questions for okay last one gemanja i have to let you go i've kept you for a long time <laughs> and the network he advised your last words i know like you, yeah. you've been giving advice throughout this interview you've been mm. there and there but mm. like in summary i end up, what can you say to Someone, first of all, sing I maget aganja, sing as position aganja, because I think in marketing, who's maget as a, a, a professional is very important. Yeah, one. So, how can people like make sure what's the best maget and the be attractive to the recruiter if we recruit a jabe a boogie civiaco? You might be jama tips a man and there and there, you have a one. Okay, very, very important. One, I always say never separate your professional life from the things that you are passionate about, right? Always find common ground. Always find common ground. Number one, I would say find Mm -hmm. that one thing that you're good at and prioritize Mm -hmm. it. Um, I'm going to use an Mm -hmm. example of a friend who was very passionate about chemical engineering and he developed mm. this device that was so cool. I don't even know what it was doing, but it was really, really cool. And he was passionate about it. And he went to pitch mm. this idea at a pharmaceutical company. Mm. 
pharmaceutical companies mm-hmm. say to him, oh, well, we don't do these kind of things, but because we can see mm. the passion in your eyes <laughs> and in the way that you are presenting this, we have an opportunity that you might be interested in. You see, so now okay. something that he was very, very passionate about worked for him, got him into spaces that he didn't even think he was going to be able to get to. So mm-hmm. just because you are mm. good at one thing doesn't mean you can't explore the next thing at your next door. Go there, prioritize okay. it, do that one thing, use it to get to the door. Two, okay. make sure to take initiative. Don't wait for Ayanda to advise you what to do. Don't wait for Uboni to mm. upload a video on YouTube on how to do it. Take initiative. If mm. a lot of people are taking a, a left, take a right. See what mm. is happening on the right side, right? Try to mm. be very mm. creative mm. in your recruitment process. There's not one way to, to look for a job. There's not one way to to navigate it and find it especially in disciplines like uh, um, uh, bsc uh, in life sciences there's not one way to do things so explore as much as you can if you are given five mm. possible opportunities try all five of them and see one mm. one should not yield. and then number three the, the, the industry the industry and is not cut and dry you know, it's not like umundo or fundi accounting, which we know which, okay, the next step is gonna be this. So I get you, I get you. I say number yes. three, Gamanj. Mm. Yes. Number three, constantly number three. evolve. Don't wait for an opportunity to present itself and then jump on it. Be the opportunity, create the opportunity for yourself. If Guru Konama, there's so many free um, online courses on LinkedIn that you can be a part of. Evolve, get those skills, put them in your CV. You know, put yourself out there. Constantly find opportunities, constantly find things to do, constantly Mm. find ways to improve yourself as a brand. Because at the end of the day, you are a brand and you should market yourself as a brand. And be very open Mm. to opportunities. By being open to opportunities, I'm not saying um, when opportunities come, even though it's not something that you were looking at, explore it. No, be strategic in how you are, you know, exploring these opportunities. If mm-hmm. um, you want to get to a certain discipline, Mauva would sit in a conference mm-hmm. at some place and there's going to be this person, this person, go. Go build a network. Open mm. yourself to those kind of opportunities. You'll never ho- know who you meet or who you find or who you bump into in these things. I'm a recruiter. They're always mm. there in spaces like that, trying to recruit new talent, trying to you know find new people to 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 get into into their teams. So find yourself mm. in those mm. spaces, even if it's overseas opportunities. Mm. Um, you can see now on TikTok. There's a lot of creatives now that are talking about their careers how they got there make those people your yeah. friends and make those people the crowd that you 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 spend most of your time with and you will definitely mm-hmm. learn quite a few things from from those platforms mm-hmm. um and mm-hmm. linkedin is your friend especially if you want to be in pharma linkedin is your friend go follow all possible pharmaceutical companies you can find on linkedin if you are confused you can follow me on linkedin and copy my profile and (laughs) paste it to be like your own that will help you just go mimic do something do something and then last one don't be afraid to start small because especially when you have a graduated and you hold a bsc degree or you hold whatever degree you have out there And then someone Mm. tells you, maybe you can volunteer to get yourself there. And you're just like, no, I I deserve a job that's going to give me this much. So don't don't be afraid to Mm. start small. I started small. I'm not saying everybody Mm. should. But if an opportunity to start small presents itself, don't say no to it. (laughs) Okay, guys, (laughs) I'm going to leave a profile, a LinkedIn profile. Yeah, I and uh, <laughs> then you can connect with her. Please, guys, Ningam Pombati. I got now seven to I and okay. So, uh, but maybe I and what you can do with me later, you can send me a couple of links that you think are useful. 
maybe companies that you know now and again they're looking for graduates or interns you know maybe and they can do that for us but guys don't send their massive cv but you can do as she said check out her profile how she whatever <laughs> okay and uh thank you so much for your time uh yeah um, thank you so much we'll for soon. Me. we'll chat soon yeah, please thank you. Thank you so much, Monique. This was great. <laughs> this was great. And thank you so okay. much to the village. I know um, if you didn't take anything out of this, at least take just one word and run with it. Yo, guys, there was one half of a conversation with Uayanda Mkwanas. <laughs> she is a clinical research uh, associate. She holds a BSc degree in human physiology. Uh, genetics and uh, psychology guys please make sure you share this video with uh, people that might need it and also drop us some comments or oh, ayanda will come back to this video and watch you guys i'm so tired <laughs> you can see i'm just exhausted but you know what i'll see you on the next one thanks for supporting this village and thanks for watching if you would like to be uh, one of my guests please uh, do drop me an email and we shall chat. Bye.